Today, we see manufacturers turning to variable geometry turbos to reduce lag, improve torque delivery, increase power, and minimise fuel consumption. G'day, I'm Zach, and welcome to Automate. Turbochargers increase the engine's volumetric efficiency by forcing compressed air into the combustion chamber. This is achieved by using movable vanes within the turbine housing, allowing the turbine's speed to remain high even when the engine RPM is low. With the nozzles in a closed position, only a small quantity of exhaust gas flows through the narrow passageway. The compressed gas increases the turbine speed, achieving a reduction in turbo lag and an improvement in acceleration. To control the amount of boost, the ECM can move the vanes to an open position, changing the angle the exhaust gas hits the turbine blades. Due to this alteration in nozzle positioning, the turbine speed has now been reduced. The ECM may control the vane position via a pulse width modulated output to a vane position actuator. The drive ring rotates in response to these commands. Speed and directional control of the actuating rod and drive ring is achieved using a bi-directional motor, similar to that of a throttle body assembly. To watch the full video or any of our automotive training modules, just visit our website to find out how you can become an Automate member today.